Hey, what's going on guys? I am bringing you this video to show you how to make a top to bottom view. Just to give you a little example of what you can expect from this is um, this little maze right here. You see I'm the orange cube in the maze and that you have to solve it. I also added some music to it. Um, I made the music myself, so this is an example of what you can um, make. You can solve the whole maze. Not going to show you the whole maze because if I complete the maze then we'll load a new map, which will cause us to... Um, lose extra time so there we go that's an example of what you can make with it now let me go to my um other project yes that was my very very messy desktop right there so what you want to do is you want to create a platform um let's oversize that a little bit why the hell not you know okay it's a tree in that direction um okay there you go that's a platform uh, what you want to do next is you want to create a light source, otherwise you won't see shit and everything on you look very ugly. So that's an orange um, object right there. I do want to give it a different color. I want to give it blue and then uh, the cube on it, which will be our check there. Huh? Uh, why is it selecting light? I want to select cube. There we go. So let's create a cube, which will be our check that we will be controlling. We can size it down a little bit so it can walk around a little bit more. There we go. Size down. Beautiful. And we will give this an orange material since orange really stands out to the blue. Now what we need to do in order to achieve a top to bottom view is first um, enhance the player script a little bit. So let me go to scripts and then show you the stuff we need to change about it. Um, player, F plus player, there we go. So just Ctrl A, Ctrl C in order if you make a mistake or in order if my eye make a mistake. Just press Ctrl A, Ctrl C so you can copy everything and reset everything if you make a stupid mistake. So within the script we have to change a few things. First of all, if we are looking from a third person perspective at a check that which is controlled by the player, it will initially be invisible. To change this, you want to delete this line. Basically, what it does is it will blend um, the chair itself with visible, and you do not want that, so you want to delete that. Next, you want to search for cam rotate, uh, rotation, which will be um, the camera rotation. You want to delete that part as well. So, let me scroll down a little bit. This line must be deleted as well, I believe. Uh, file save there we go so else I think everything I have to do for script I'm not entirely sure there's this camera and there's a spotlight object um, miscellaneous camera and you want to add a camera somewhere which is logic because that's what I want to do so you go over here uh, center it with the rest of the, the, the object and then you want to rotate it a little bit in the scene step so you open the scene step up and you rotate x um, the x axis with 90. So you're looking from top to bottom and it's almost covering the whole map. So that's perfect. That's just really perfect. Now all you want to do is you want to select your cube, which will be the check there. Go to the Fisk step and put Fisk mode to check the controller and collision type to check there. Then you want to link the script we just enhanced the FPS player script to it um, you can change the jump force to zero if you do not want to check it to jump and now let's test if it's working player must be greater than zero of course it should be uh, yes I want to terminate the external process so you go back to physics give it a mask as well and then you press play now what you're saying right right here is a top to bottom view it's, it, it's really that easy. Now, as you may be hearing, you can still hear the footsteps um, of someone walking around. Pretty sure this can be delayed as well. I really didn't prepare myself for deleting that part. But if we go to the script tab of the FF player and then we want to search for sound. Um, sound footsteps. We want to delete those. Um, so delete that. And we we'll delete this line. Pretty sure this should fix the footstep glitch. Or oh, it's not really a glitch, just the footstep sound. Attempt to end. What? 
Oh yeah, I need to delete this line as well. So right now you can just debug it in the hopes that it's gonna work. There we go. Now you have to delete the footsteps sound as well. So that's basically how I created a top to bottom check. Uh, um, it's, you, you cannot rotate it around with your mouse um, like this. If you do want to use your mouse to rotate the, the cube for whatever reason, then you can just. Um, then you should not delete the following parts. I'll just show you that as well. Uh, Ctrl A. No, I'm not gonna copy and paste everything back. Well, um, basically, you did not want to do the the part where you delete the camera rotation. So, if you go back a little bit in the video, there was a part I delete the camera rotation, and you do not want to delete that if you do not want if you want your cube to be able to turn around. Now you can also attach a uh, weapon script to it. I think. I haven't tried this before, it's just all experimenting for myself as well. I wonder what it will look like though. Ah, <laughs> that looks so stupid. Oh wow, now that's funny. So basically you can make something like space and fade as well. Let's make some more cubes and then... Well, no, let's not do that. And yeah, this is really basically how you create a top to bottom view. Um, there may be other more efficient ways to do this. This is the way I like to do it. Uh, you can create mazes like you just saw with it, and um, it's it, it's it, it's just another thing you can do. So hopefully this guy was help helpful for you. And if it was, then I want to thank you for watching. And um, please consider subscribing if um, you want to see more guides. And then I would like to thank you and see you next time.